All right, so hopefully you had a successful day magnet fishing. I was kind of skunked today a little bit. I got two lures. This one is uh, for the trash heap. Actually, it's not too, too bad if it was rehooked. But look at this one, almost like brand new. Love it, absolutely love it. Don't have to buy any type of fishing lures when you're doing a lot of magnet fishing. Now, the most important thing you need to do is take care of your fishing magnet kit. The most important is the magnet itself. So what you wanna do is use the scraper that's provided, go ahead and get all, all of those iron pieces, all of those small magnetic pieces, go ahead and scrape those off, right? And then what you wanna do is use your microfiber towel and try to get the magnet as dry as possible. Really get in there, get it nice and dry. The last thing that you wanna do is have your fishing magnet rust. So dry it off as best as possible. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and grab your dry bag. So your dry bag here, hopefully you're using it properly like I do, and go ahead and put all of your personal belongings in it. So what you wanna do is of course, empty that all out, make sure you have everything, like your phone, your wallet, and your keys. Now what's great about the dry bag, it works in two ways. One, it is great in transporting your magnet fishing kit to your spots, but also great when you are magnet fishing to keep all of your belongings safe and dry all in one place. Now what I also keep in here is this styrofoam block. Now this is what the magnet came in and I keep it. And the reason why is, is that I like to go ahead and transport it that way. Two reasons. One, it keeps the magnet from being damaged. And number two, it keeps metal objects away from like in the back of your car from connecting to it. So keep this styrofoam block. And this is the way that you use it first, of course, you're using your microfiber towel to keep the magnet nice and dry. I go ahead and go down the rope that's wet all the way down and try to get the, the rope as dry as possible. And then go ahead and wrap your magnet in the microfiber towel. Put it in the styrofoam block like so. And then the top piece that comes with it, just go ahead and cut it just like that. And you're able to do that with your fingers and go ahead and put it around the rope, push it down. It keeps this really, really nice. The other thing that I keep in the dry bag as well, and these come with the kit. And I don't know if you could see these. They're three plastic tips, little tubes, and they go on the tips, if you come over here, go on the tips of the grappling hook. So go ahead and keep those, put those on. Keeps you, of course, from poking yourself, but also from ripping your bag apart. Go ahead and disconnect the carabiner from where you had it secured. Go ahead, I like to put the grappling hook in first. And then I go ahead and follow it up with the styrofoam block. Once you have that magnet in there, go ahead up here and disconnect the carabiner from wherever you have it secured. And of course, the scraper that comes with it. I just keep it connected to the carabiner so I'm not losing it. Go ahead and wrap up your rope. Try to keep it tangled free. And I just wrap it like this. Of course, there's gonna be other ways to do this. I'm just trying to demo this for you. Go ahead and put everything into the dry bag. Now remember, everything that's going into the dry bag, if it's damp, if it's wet, it's gonna stay that way. So it's very important when you get home take everything out. You want everything to dry out, but especially you want to wash off that magnet, right? So you're going to have that lake scum on it. You're going to have salt water on it. You're going to want to wash that off, dry off the magnet completely, and you're going to go ahead and lay out the ropes, hang them up, let everything get bone dry, including the dry bag, and then you're going to put everything back in. So the dry bag is great, but the thing is, is that you want to take care of it. And we're going to show you how to lay everything out and how to wash everything off. All right, so once you have everything in the bag, go ahead and close it up. And you're ready to go. So remember, you're gonna wanna wash everything off, clean it all off when you get home. I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. 
All right, so you made it home after a big day of magnet fishing. Now what you wanna do is just take a couple minutes to take care of your fishing magnet kit to keep it nice and dry, everything in tip top shape. The first thing that I like to do is, of course, head over to a laundry sink, maybe outside at your garden hose, somewhere where you can wash off your magnet, your ropes, get all that lake water and salt water, all that gunk off of your equipment. All right, so I'm over here at my laundry sink. This could be outside, like I said before, your garden hose. But what you wanna do is that you wanna wash off your magnet and you really wanna get it as clean as possible, especially all of the little iron that collects in the mud and everything. It starts getting into all like the crevices. And I like to use a toothbrush, as you can see here, and just get as much as you can out of it. Now what's gonna happen is, is that over time, your magnet, it's, it's gonna rust, right? But what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to prevent the rust and keep it as clean as possible. Now, a lot of people ask the question of, well, if my magnet rusts, will it lose its pull strength? Your magnet has to be completely rusted, a lot, really a good portion of it rusted for it to lose its pull strength. So what we're doing here is just using, is just doing maintenance on this and really trying to keep it as clean as possible. Now, what I'd be doing normally is working on this for, you know, a couple minutes just to get this as clean as possible. But you see how dirty the toothbrush gets, right? And you're gonna do the same thing with your rope. You wanna get your rope, nice and clean. And like I said, I'm not gonna show you the whole process here, but you wanna do this. You wanna get your magnet as clean as possible. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna dry it off. Use that microfiber towel, dry it off, and then we're gonna to head to the last step. After you've cleaned off everything, cleaned off your magnet, cleaned off your ropes, cleaned off your grappling hook, cleaned out your dry bag. Very important, clean out that dry bag and make sure to get it as clean as possible. And now we're in the drying phase. All right, so as you can see right here, I already took care of the grappling hook. I wrapped it up so it can get nice and, and dry. Now I'm in my laundry room. This is where I do everything. You might do it in your garage. You might do it in your shed. Doesn't matter where, as long as you can hang up the ropes and let everything dry, that's exactly what you want. So I'm gonna do the same thing here to the, uh, the magnet, uh, the, the fishing magnet and its rope. And uh, all I'm gonna do here is um, I, I already cleaned it off, um, made it as dry as possible using the microfiber towel. And then what I'm gonna do here is hit it with a little WD-40. Now, a lot of gun enthusiasts out there, they'll know what to do in regards to oil. Uh, I've been using WD-40, and all I'm gonna do is just give it a quick shot underneath and go ahead and rub that in with a cloth. And all I'm doing here is just trying to prevent rust. That is it, just keeping the magnet nice and dry, giving it a thin coat of WD-40, just so when the ropes are drying out and everything, there's a nice little film on the magnet. Now, like I said before, rust is going to happen, we're just trying to prevent it, okay? So once you do that, I like to go ahead and lay it on a towel, and then I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the grappling hook, and go ahead and just lay out the rope, just so it could dry, right? So laying it out, and like I said, you can do this in your garage, your shed, whatever it may be. So you get the picture, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. The last thing, the absolute last thing here, your dry bag, so already cleaned this out. Make sure you get it nice and clean, right? And then you're gonna go in there and you're gonna dry it out with a towel. Get this as dry as possible. If it's still a little damp, go ahead and hang it up just like you do with the rope. Go ahead and hang that up again. The dry bag, I've said it before, you want the dry bag dry. If you put anything wet in the dry bag, it's gonna be wet. It's gonna be damp the whole entire time. Kind of an oxymoron there, right? Dry bag, but if you put something wet in there, it remains wet, you get the picture. Anyway, you want the dry bag dry. So hang everything up, let it dry out for overnight, for a day, make sure everything is bone dry, and then you can pack everything back in, and you're ready to go again. That is it. Take a few minutes, do this every time you come back from magnet fishing and you'll have a great kick every single time.